for Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts and Team G503 here on YouTube. This is a monumental and pivotal moment in the 1943 Wilson B Jeep build. This is the video where I'm going to show you where we installed the tub after all the work we did to it, all the body work, all the painting, all the bolt ons, all the add ons. It came out fantastic, and I was a little nervous about picking that thing up and putting it out there, so I got some help from a neighbor of mine, and my wife and my son helped me also. Thank you guys, it was awesome. When you see the video, I was pretty jazzed about this. A lot of work and effort went into that. And I like to say, I was nervous, but I was also really excited to put it on the chassis. Watch the video. This is how we did it. Really? Yeah. Big I saw it going. I was like, dang. Yeah. All right, so you're going to guide that back corner. Me? No, sure. Okay. And then I'm going to try to line this up in front. The tailgate, this back tailgate right here, yeah. lines up right on top of these pads. If the pads move, I don't care. Okay. They, they're stuck in a little Google and that's the pioneer. I know you're excited, but I tell me step by step what we gotta do. We're gonna lift it up. Yes. It's gotta be pretty high, like yes. about here. Okay. I'm gonna line this hole up. Yes. You're gonna lift the tail end of it, and we're gonna show it like that. Okay. Now, if you need to, you might have to get in here and grab a hold of these and just maybe have to move that a little bit. I don't think you're gonna have to. You ready? Huh? I don't think it's gonna be. Get on this kind of thing. You gotta get really high. Ready? Okay, up a little bit. There we go. Okay? That's okay. What am I hitting? The shifter? Okay, can we lift it up? Uh, Scotty, you need to lift your side up and then come forward and just go in. Now, before we did all that, I installed the body mount set from Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts. It comes with all the rubber body pads and then the two felt pads. I did install these with Permatex number two, and it seemed to work pretty well and kept them in place. And I did that all before my neighbors and my son and my wife came out to help. Here's the felt pad, and the felt pad slips underneath the front support or gusset there between that and the frame as I'm showing you here on both sides of the tub. Let's take a look at the inside of the body tub here and you can see all the different locations where the bolts go. I'm going to show you them individually. One of the things you can do when after you install the tub and to line it up is just look down those holes or use some sort of a punch to line them all up and make sure you can look through and see through with no obstruction. The first bolt that I'm going to install is the front of the floorboard there by the gas pedal and that bolt size is 3 8 by 16 by inch and 3 quarter. I'm installing a flat washer on the bolt before I install it into the tub. The second hole is right across on the passenger side and that's the same size bolt. Both of those locations will be fastened on the underneath side of the frame here on this large bracket. As you see, I've got a lock washer and a flat washer and a nut installed. I'm not going to tighten anything up just yet, just finger tight for the time being. The third bolt to be installed is 3 8 16 by 2 inches long and is installed in the hole that would be directly underneath the passenger seat on the floor. This is going to get a little bit interesting because we have got bracket on this side where we've got the lock washer, flat washer, and nut. And on the opposite side, which would be near where your fuel line comes through the bottom of the tub to meet the gas tank, you'll notice this pre-drilled and tapped hole in the cross member. The size of this bolt is 3 8 16 by inch and a quarter. And again, flat washer, lock washer, and nut is a shown installed here. It threads in pretty easily. If you remember back from the other videos, that's where I had the spot where the bolt had broke off and I had to drill and retap it. But it's all secure and nice now. Give you kind of location there. That's the cross member where your fuel line goes. Underneath the rear wheel wells, you'll see this lip that's right where the riser comes up near the machine gun mount. And this bolt is size 3 8 16 by inch and a quarter and is inserted as shown into the bracket. Again, flat washer, lock washer, and nut. 
you will find an exact same location on the driver's side as we did here on the passengers. It will be installed the same way. The next bolts we need to install are right in the middle of the rear floorboard, and those are size 5 16 16 by 2. Now, I did see in some manuals that they were using 3 8 by 2 inch long bolts, but my frame actually is drilled like this, so I'm assuming the 5 16 size is correct for this 1943 Willis MB. There are two locations that these bolts go through, and they're right near the shock mounts. We'll go ahead and install the flat washer and then install the bolts, and then I'll take you underneath the frame here and I'll show you where they penetrate through the hat channel and attach to the frame. And there we've got the lock washer, the flat washer, and the nut installed on both sides. Now before I show you this last location against the rear cross member where there's four bolts that attach to the little brackets on the back side of the tub there, you notice there's space between there. That's because I have not tightened any of the bolts fully yet. I've just got them spun on finger tight, so if I need to make any adjustment I can. But you see the locations where these, there's four of them, 5 16, 18 by inch and 5 eighths. Those get installed on those brackets through the holes in the cross member and then the flat washer, the lock washer, and the nut go in between the cross member and on either end. In a second here I'll take the camera and I'll show you exactly where they go. It's a little difficult to film but you can see they're right along the top of the cross member. That's where those pads and those bolts and those nuts are. And then again, the space is fine because I haven't tightened anything down yet. As I tighten the things down from the front to the back it will draw this all together and it fits perfectly. Let's take a look front to back here from the driver's side and you can see everything's tightened up and fits nicely. One bolt that I forgot to show you and those are the last ones that I installed after I tightened all the bolts down which is this one right here in the front gusset or support. It's size 3 8 24 by 3 quarters, and I did install those last. Let's take a look down the passenger side here of the frame where we've got everything mounted up and tightened up. One last thing I need to mention is when you're tightening these bolts, not only do you need to do it from the front to the back, but you also need to tighten them pretty tight. I couldn't find a specific torque spec, but how I did it was I tightened them in just until that pad started to squish, and you'll feel those bolts tighten up right about then. Try not to over-tighten them. I don't know if you saw the little trick in the beginning where I took a little Permatex number two and I kind of blobbed it on those order pads just to keep them in place. I just thought that would help out a little bit. It, it did actually. None of them fell out of spot. And I was able to adjust them a little more so Permatex wasn't really a permanent deal. So just a little something funny I wanted to try and it worked out good. Back to the bolts and just a reminder, when you're bolting the tub back onto the chassis, start with the bolts that are right in the front on the floorboards and work your way backwards and then the front ones on those supports in front of the cowl there on the front side of the chassis those kind of went on last and the felt pads were all nice and tight down it came out fantastic and it fit on there really squarely and nice i'm ecstatic about it all right now we're going to roll back into the next videos we'll be back into the wiring i know i put out a couple wiring things i'm trying to catch up with all the video i've shot in the past week and put them and compile them together so you can see that we're progressing fantastically. I'm super jazzed about it. And if you'd like to follow along, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know notifications come on when you release new videos because I'm going to start progressively putting these out here as this Jeep project comes to an end. A little sad about that, but anyway. All right, my friends, until next time, keep it safe. Happy Jeeping. And the tub's on.